everybody, it's Cheryl Sabo, and today we are making autumnoculars. So to start, please head outside on a nature walk and explore for nature treasures. Here's a beautiful collection that I found. Strong brown oak leaves, green moss, a red leaf. Some of the first colors of fall are starting to emerge here. So bring your nature treasures home with you and sort out a few of the strongest, most flexible leaves. I even brought some green leaves home because they're still moist and pliable. So you can talk about those leaves with your family. And when you're ready to make our craft, here's what you're going to need to make our autumnoculars. Some white paper, some crayons. I have block crayons, but you could use a regular round crayon that you've peeled and you could use it on its side. These block crayons are made by Stockmar. They're made of beeswax, and I love them because they smell good, they're non-toxic, and they're easily uh, held by young children. And they also layer very well, so you can make a really neat uh, collage of colors. So I don't want to underestimate the importance of just making space to notice, to touch, to smell, to feel, to talk about to sing about the different leaves that you find on your adventures. And this brown leaf is from an oak tree and it feels so strong. It feels rough on one side, smooth on the other. This is another oak leaf and it has a slightly different shape to it. You can see it's from a different oak tree. It has pointy, spiky edges. This is a yellow maple leaf. It's a little more thin. And here is a green maple leaf. So take your time thinking about the sizes, the shapes, the qualities of these different leaves. And when you're ready, uh, you're going to start with your first leaf. Now it's very important when you do your leaf rubbings, and you probably have done this before, but just in case, and it's fun to talk about with the children as well, uh, make sure that the smooth side is down and that the rough side that has the more prominent veins that send nutrients up through the roots, through the trunk, out through the branches, to the leaves is facing up. And that way when you do your rubbing, you will have a chance to see that structure, that nature shape emerge with your crayon. I like to use my crayon all in one direction as you sweep across and up the paper. Grown-ups either tape the paper down for your young child or help them hold so you have a holding hand and a coloring hand. Grown-ups, if you're doing rubbings as well, sometimes it's fun to use your non-dominant hand. I just love the way each leaf is unique in shape and color. So you choose your autumn colors that you like, or any colors really, and watch as each leaf can be brought to life on your paper. So the crayons uh, are colorful and wonderful. You can see the shape there of the leaf on the paper now. But I like using crayons for this um, and really getting quite a bit of wax layering one leaf and then another, layering the wax to see different colors. I like the yellow here, but the leaf that I'm using is the green leaf because it's a little less fragile, it's a little more durable, but it's the same shape. And the yellow just layers right over the reds and oranges, makes lots of different um, shades, just like the trees themselves this time of year. Oh, hello, bird. <laughs> the birds love the autumn too. So these block crayons are really, um, we have a really great feel to them. The beeswax has a nice feel and a nice smell as well. So as you're layering the colors, you could sing. And you can keep going, filling your paper. The wax also will serve to protect the paper on the finished product as well. So you're making a nice um, sealing, uh, has sealing properties on the paper. And there's 
there's a little leaf. So you can use different colors, different sizes, different orientations. You could have it be quiet while you draw and trace, or you could sing. And as you're finished with your coloring, go ahead and clean up your crayons. And I like to sing while I clean up tonal patterns every which way. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> so music can be part of lots of different things. Okay, this is a really fun part. So get your toilet paper tubes. You'll need two for each person. And this is a great fine motor activity. So uh, grown-ups, leave a little more on than I'm showing here, but leave a little more on so that your children can uh, work on their pincher grip and clearing off the tube. It does not have to be perfect, but it's great practice. As long as it's a fun activity, you're working on getting it nice and clean, and you can talk about that too. Get it nice and clean so you're working on... Um, Working on those fine motor skills. You can see here, this is really, um, it's, it's kind of gluey. <laughs> so if, if yours is that, if it's getting frustrating for your children, um, leave it. But if it's still something fun to do, then you can uh, work on that. And when you're ready, then uh, measure with your tube on the paper, your favorite part of the drawing, or the rubbing. You can go crisscross any which way, just as long as you can cover the entire tube. And you'll want to mark the edges a little bit wider than the tube so that we have some to tuck under afterwards. Um, I think that's kind of hard to see here. Um, just a little bit, maybe half an inch on each end. And then grown-ups, if you have very young children, please safely with the scissors away from the children. Um, older children, you can do this yourself. Um, with some safety scissors that you have with your school supplies. And when you're ready then, you can save those extra bits, especially older children. You might enjoy making some leaf cutouts or decorating something else with those pieces. Um, so you might want to save those. I have another craft coming down the line pretty soon, so you can always do more rubbing. So, so we'll turn it over and get your glue. It can be a glue stick or school glue, just something non-toxic, please. And you can squeeze it along the edges and then a little bit through the middle as well. You can, if you wanna get messy, you can use um, some paste and you can use your fingers to spread it around or you could water down glue. I'm a big fan of uh, feeling our craft project. I did not do that here, but you could do that. And then roll your tube on the glue, leaving a little extra on each side. Good, so you're gonna roll that over, down, and you can help smooth the edges. This is a great activity. Yeah, so think about the circumference a little bit with older children if you're interested. If you have extra and you don't wanna cover up your beautiful rubbing, you could trim around the edges a little bit. And again, please be super careful. These are very sharp scissors, so I wouldn't be using these if my young children were around. And then children can help with the, the smoothing, yep, smoothing the edges and tucking over. So you're gonna tuck those edges over. And if you need a little extra dab of glue, you can go ahead and glue that down and smooth it all around. Great fine motor activity, you guys, using both hands. See how I'm modeling using both hands. I'm usually right-handed, but I'm using my left hand here. Kind of evens the playing field a little bit. And gives us a window into what our children are experiencing as they learn about and navigate this amazing world and all the things they can learn to do with their bodies and their brains and their voices and their feelings too. Look at those beautiful colors. Oh, I love it. So this is half of our autumnoculars. So currently we have an autumn monocular but now we want to do the other one. So you can go on another walk or you could just do another rubbing with the leaves you have. And 
I just picked some different colors. So here I'm actually teaching live on a Zoom class. So many of you are in my classes already, but if you're not, um, I would love to get to know you better. I teach music together online. I've been doing that since March of 2020. I also teach some outdoor, in-person, very small classes um, in Alexandria, Virginia. I have a max of six families per class, and we are outdoors. It's a beautiful, shady area. Uh, the building is open if people need restrooms, but we ask that one family go inside at a time. So here my 16-year-old is filming me <laughs> as I'm teaching and showing my friends on the Zoom class. Um, if you were there this morning, I hope that you've had a chance to make your own autumn noculars. <laughs> I just love these. Um, I was also explaining on the Zoom when my children were little, one of my favorite things to do um, would be to take uh, these little, we called them binoculars. <laughs> Sam called them binoculars because everything seemed more clear to him. It, it reduces the peripheral noise, the vision noise, by uh, helping focus through the eyes. Obviously, it doesn't actually magnify what you're seeing, but it really does give you an interesting different view out into the world up into the trees and down to the earth and out into uh, nature um, so I encourage you to do that so older children might enjoy doing more of a collage kind of an idea cutting out the edges of the rubbing and gluing that on top in different layers um, so just get really you can get fancy with it as fancy as you'd like so making your second um, tube and then you have two, and you can hold them up gently to your eyes. Hopefully you have a nice smooth edge here. I only have one finished, but you can see um, the idea. And I'm looking up into the trees. Yes. One little owl says, hoo, hoo. Two little owls say, hoo, hoo. Three little owls say, as they sit in the old oak tree. This is a classic music together song. It's on the Family Favorites um, collection that you can find on a lot of streaming services. Uh, it's an introduction uh, to music together. So here I'm looking up into the trees. Lots of green still, but I'm looking forward to seeing more and more colors as autumn continues with my autumnoculars, of course. <laughs> um, I do love seeing you guys so much on the Zoom classes. It's really special to see you all growing and learning. Here I'm looking at my son. He's 16 now. <laughs> so if you'd like to uh, join us for more crafts, music, dance, games, um, please enroll in a class online or outdoors. It's an inclusive package, so it's $96 per month per family. And that includes your materials, includes online classes, pre-recorded classes, interactive Zoom classes, um, and one outdoor option if that works for your family now. So I hope you'll join us. Have a wonderful day, and please share your adventures with me. I'd love to hear all about them and see your autumnocular creations. Thanks, everybody.